First of all, thanks to Eileen in Texas for suggesting the Pulsar Pump Nano idea. So basically the tra tromp section on a nano pump would be much smaller. It might only go three or four feet deep and deliver air with um, the three or four feet pressure. And uh, anyway, um, I can't do this at the moment because I don't live near a stream or river, but I can measure how high a T-joint version of a uh, window farm um, air pump might be able to pump and this is what I'm going to show you next. So this is my latest little airlift pump demo and this is powered by the aquarium pump again. So I'm just going to zoom in here. Unfortunately it's raining so I don't want to ruin my camera in the rain. Anyway, here's my little water reservoir. Uh, there's the T-joint there. In, oh, it's in behind. And here's the air coming from this little air pump. Goes into the little shed. Anyway, I'm just going to show the scale of the thing. So, we go. So it's a little aquarium pump, and I don't mind the blue pipe. It's not the blue one. It's this white one here. Clear pipe here. That's how high it's pumping. That's less than two feet, and with those little pipes, goes all the way to 13 feet high. Uh, 22 inches of submergence. Uh, 13 feet above the water level in this thing. 